Hey guys, Spud here and today I'm going to be showing you how to vertically mount almost any GPU in 2023. I did a video like this a few years back when I vertically mounted my 3080 using a kit from Fantex. But today we're going to be mounting this beast of a card, the RTX 4080, using the vertical graphics card holder kit V3 from Cooler Master. So let's dive in. Before we start, as many of you know, I've been running a giveaway on my previous video for you guys to pick up a free piece of gear for your setup. Thank you to everyone who commented and subscribed, I appreciate the support a lot. And here is the winning comment from DaftCoolYT. Congratulations, you've won a new LED clock for your setup. I have already reached out, so well done for winning. And for everyone else, there will be more giveaways coming soon, so make sure to subscribe to the channel as I'll only be picking from subscribers. But now onto today's video. So here we have the vertical graphics card holder kit V3 from Cooler Master. I actually picked this up when I discovered that this giant 4080 from Accelerate Gaming wouldn't actually fit horizontally into my PC build, which which is housed in the Antec P120 crystal case. Due to the power supply being located at the top of the case, the only place to fit a 360mm radiator is on the side and as you can see, my current 3070 Ti was the perfect size to squeeze in next to it, but this gigantic 4080 just cannot fit. And that's where this vertical kit comes in. Now, as you can see, the kit is compatible with ATX and MATX cases and includes a PCIe 4.0 riser cable as well. Opening up the box, inside we have an instruction manual, the PCIe riser cable, which as I mentioned is 4.0, some mounting screws, and then we finally have the bracket assembly. This is a sizable and very sturdy looking bracket, which is great for bigger, more recent GPUs. And this new V3 version is also compatible with all ATX and MATX cases. What's also cool about this particular one is if I unscrew this, you can actually adjust the back portion to sit the GPU wherever you like for better motherboard access or cooling. But that's not all. If I spin this clip around, you can also adjust the bracket in this direction as well so that you can fit the GPU perfectly into any build, no matter the configuration. Now the first thing that I need to do is attach the PCIe riser cable to the bracket itself in order to be able to plug it in. Now this is simple enough to do, as you can see there are two mounting points on the bracket which correspond with two holes drilled into the PCIe riser cable so all we need to do is slot it through and line it up so we can screw it together. There you go, the bracket is now fully assembled and ready to go into the PC build so let's crack on and get it fitted. Now it's time to get the vertical GPU installed. The first thing we need to do is remove the old 3070Ti, so let's take out the cables and unscrew the GPU from the case. Now we can release the clip on the motherboard and slide out the GPU. Now as you can see, this case does actually have a space for vertically mounting a GPU already, but with a card of this size, I wanted it to be more secure, so we're going to install the mounting kit instead. Now that we've removed those slots, it's time to mount the new bracket, starting by plugging in the PCIe riser cable. And once that is clipped in, we can fit the bracket and make sure that it is securely screwed into place. Once all that is fitted and secure, the next stage is to fit the GPU itself. This is the same as fitting a GPU normally, simply line up the PCIe slots and click it into place, then we just need to tighten the screws to keep it secure. Finally we need to plug in the power cable, which of course is different on the 4080 as it uses this single 12 pin connector. With everything plugged back in, it's time to reconnect the PC to the setup and power it on. And there we go, everything powers on absolutely fine and this PC build looks so much better now that we've got the brand new 4080 in and having it vertically mounted which I personally prefer. As you've seen, it's incredibly easy to mount a GPU this way and pretty much anybody can do it, especially with this Cooler Master mount that is essentially universal with most cases. I'm really happy with the way this turned out, but let me know down in the comments which version of the PC you guys actually preferred. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. And if you did, please make sure to drop a like as it helps support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe for all the upcoming content. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments or join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. I'll be back next week with another video, but if you can't wait that long, I have daily content over on my TikTok and Instagram pages. And I'll either see you there or back here for the next video. See you later. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, look at that. Look at that smile. <laughs>